Welcome everyone, Mike with Bowers Backyard. Today's video is gonna put us again on the rec tech. It's hot as hell out there, so I'd rather use the pellet grills than um, charcoal at this moment. But today we're gonna cook a tri-tip. We're gonna reverse sear it. We're gonna cook it at about 225 until internal temperature about 1, 120. Then I'm gonna sear it on both sides for a couple of minutes to get that internal temperature at about 130. Let it rest to about 135. We'll see how my thermal paint does. Let's start the fire. All right, so for this tri-tip, I recently got some Flores tortillas. So I'm gonna give them a try. I'm gonna cook this tri-tip using Cosmo's cow cover as a base, then afterwards, the Texas beef. Let's season it up. All right, so this tri-tip is a very small one, just a couple of pounds. It wasn't really cut very well by the butcher. That's okay. I'm gonna go a little bit of this cow cover. This Texas beef. This stuff's pretty powerful. All right, let's go get on the smoker. All right, so the Rec Tech today on the low setting is hovering around 250. A little warm, but that's okay. As long as I get some smoke flavor, I'm all right with that. We're going to set that down and we'll see it when it's about 120. All right, so the tri-tip has been on the smoker on the low setting, um, hovering around 260 to actually 200 during that low setting time. We've been there for about 30 minutes, so let's go check the temps. Check it out. Looking pretty good there. Let's see what the temperature says. One twenty, twenty three, twenty two. Let's see what's here in the thinner part. Really surprises me. The thicker part is cooking a lot faster. But I'm gonna go ahead and pull this and get ready for reverse sear because I like mine a little bit more on the rare side. Nice little pigtail here. Set this down. I love that hopper it makes a nice little, nice little shelf. Let's bump this bullseye up to riot mode. All right, while the um, grills come up to tent, I'm gonna mostly tent this. See you in a moment. Okay, I don't know if y'all can see this, but my grill's at 615. Some people say they get their bullseye up to 740, 750. I've never been able to do that, but I'm happy to see her at 615. Let's get this on. I find it hotter towards the back, so that's where I'm going to start it off here. We'll go a couple of minutes. So yeah, I, I've never been able to get this thing up to the 749, but maybe one time. I called RegTech. They said it has to do with the, um, the pellets or the control board. They want me to call them to... Um, adjust the control board. I haven't had time to do so. Maybe I'll do it this week. We'll see. It's been a couple of minutes. Let's flip it over. It's hot as hell, but I don't have that flame throwing like I did in that other steak video of mine. Maybe I should give Rentec a call. All right, another couple of minutes. All right, let's see where temps are. I don't trust this thermal pin. I'm pulling it now. All right, I had this off the grill. I'm gonna test it without the heat. One oh eight. You guys saw that on the grill. Unreal how off this thing is. I know y'all probably tired of me talking about it. All right, I'm gonna put it on for a few more minutes. All right, let's see what this thing temps at. 
Can I trust it, guys? <laughs> no. Let's pull it. Tri tip looks pretty good. I'm going to let it rest for about 10 to 15 minutes. See you then. All right, let's cut in. Looks pretty good, y'all. We're doing tacos, so I'm going to cut this pretty thin. Y'all seen folks cut meat before? Let's give it a taste. That's pretty good. That Cosmos cow cover um, in Texas beef has a distinct flavor. You absolutely know this was seasoned with that. But it's a little salty, a little peppery. Perfect for these tacos. I'm going to go ahead and get this cut up and I'll show you how to build my taco. All right. I got this all chopped up for tacos. It actually had the grain going three different ways. But man, look at that juice. This thing looks awesome. That thermopin. Talk a lot of trash about it, but I think this time I might have been right. Uh, the first time, not the second time, but we'll see. Let's build a taco. All right, let's build a taco. Like I said earlier, we're gonna start with these uh, Flores tortillas, which are absolutely amazing. I dug into one already. I'm gonna do a, a base layer of smashed avocado. It's really not guacamole because it's just avocado, lime juice, and sea salts. It's a good base. I like mine meaty, so we're gonna pile this on pretty good. We're gonna do a little queso fresco. Sorry, the dog wants to go. <laughs> a little queso fresco. Then a little bit of pico de gallo. Let me let the dog out, we'll dig in. All right, let's give it a try. Tacos are great. I um, I love making barbecue and grilling and tacos. It's the absolute best way to serve it, in my opinion. I can't recommend this recipe enough, guys. Be sure to give it a try. Let me know in the comments how it turned out for you. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and you all have a great day. The fire is out.